You guys! <laughs> if you know of me at all, then you know exactly why I absolutely love this book. It's my all-time favorite children's book, and I think everyone needs to have it. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today... I'm so excited. <laughs> um, I moved my chalkboard over to like give you a little bit of like school vibes going on. No. No. Is it? <laughs> so we just started doing an artist study. I had a really cool idea. We, I mean, normally you do artist studies on artists that are. I passed away and there's tons to learn from their art and the things that they pioneered and that's all wonderful but after meeting up with Vanessa a few weeks ago I had an idea I actually kind of had the idea before and I just thought it would be really cool for us to study artists that are here now so why not start with Vanessa. So we've read several of her books that she's illustrated before, but when we went to go and interview her and meet her, it was so much fun, you guys. I was so giddy. Anyway, when we went to go and meet her, she gave the kids so many goodies and we were so excited about it. She gave them some books, some for each of them, and then she also gave Cameron some art supplies. So I thought I would share with you what she actually gave us and then I wanted to share with you my absolute this is probably my absolute favorite children's book ever okay and it happens to be illustrated by her of course but I love this book and you guys will see why anyway for our artist study I thought it would be fun just to read as many of her books that she has illustrated as possible and then also try and mimic some of her drawings I thought it would be a fun way to get Cameron um, outside of his own box to try other styles and um, look at how other people are illustrating some of the tools that they are using I just thought that would be good I had heard a quote before I don't exactly remember who said it it was kind of on in imitation versus inspiration and it was to the effect that when you are first learning to um, play the clarinet you don't start by composing your own music you start by playing things that other people have written or composed you don't start by making your own things all the time you start by practicing your skills using things that other people have done and then after you've practiced until you have become comfortable with your own skills then you develop your own style so I kind of want to take that approach to art with the kids um, I know that not each one of my kids has to be an artist but I think that there's so much to learn in actually putting your hands to something and whether you're great at it or not i think it does a world of good for you appreciating the gifts that other people have as well as discovering the gifts that you've been given because how would you know if you're not good at something if you don't try so I thought it would be good for him to look at some of different artists work and then try to imitate it and see if they can dissect what are some of the things that make that person's style of drawing or painting or whatever else really special. So I figured we might as well start with Vanessa. First I'll show you some of the things that she gave us when we were there and then towards the end I will tell you what is my all-time favorite children's book that happens to be illustrated by Vanessa. So first she gave Cameron some art supplies. This little canvas which I thought was super cute. We could always use some extra canvas around here. We use it a lot actually. She gave him some triangular crayons. These are Melissa and Doug Art Essentials. He has already used these a few times and he really likes them. So they're so cute. <laughs> Gosh, you guys, I don't even know what these are called, um, but I think they're like a watercolor. And I know I'm gonna say it wrong, but gouache, gouache, I know I said that wrong. But anyway, look at these beautiful colors. So he gets to step it up a little bit from his basic Ikea watercolors. <laughs> 
that was really cool so she gave him those three things now on to the books i just love vanessa's illustrations i'll probably talk about it all throughout the duration of our channel <laughs> first book that they got was ready to read it's a level two book here comes the parade and this one is by tony and lauren dungy and of course it's illustrated by vanessa here comes the parade all the dungies love a parade while everyone is enjoying the marching bands justin finds a lost wallet it's full of money let's keep it he says to jordan and jade but his older brother and sister don't think that's the right thing to do what should the Dungy children do with a lost wallet? Read the story to find out. The next one we have is a level two reader as well, and it's Katie Fry, Private Eye, The Lost Kitten. How cute is she? Sherlock is a very cute kitten. He is also very lost. It's a good thing Katie Fry is here to help him look for clues to find his home. So that one's cute. And this one is for a little later in the year, but how cute is this little girl? Thanksgiving for Emily Ann. And it's just a celebration of family, friends, and a special day that brings them all together. You guys, look at this cute little illustration of Emily Ann. The next one we got was the Hula Hooping Queen. Look at this cute hula hoop with these polka dots. Um, another thing I really, really love about Vanessa's illustrations is all of the textures and the different colors that she uses in different patterns and things. So you see over here, she has these little um, dots and they're kind of like translucent and they blend into one another. Then she uses some texture down here on the street. She's got dots here. She's got stripes here. I just love that she does that. Then she's got little squiggly lines here, little circles here. I absolutely love that she does that. Kamika's got the itch, the hula hooping itch. And she's sure today is the day she will beat her rival Jamara and become the hula hooping queen of 139th Street. Kamika's picked out her best hoop and is ready to go. But then mama reminds her that today they're throwing a birthday party for their neighbor. With only the contest against Jamara on her mind, Kamika accidentally ruins Miss Adeline's birthday cake. Can Kamika's love of hula hooping somehow save the party? And will she ever find out who should be crowned the hula hooping queen of 139th Street? It's by Thelma Lynn Godden. And of course, it's illustrated by Vanessa. The last one before I get to my all time favorite, you guys, is The Youngest Marcher. I mentioned it in the video that we did when we went to see Vanessa. But this one is by Cynthia Livingston, and it's the story of Audrey Faye Hendricks. She was a young civil rights activist, and look at how cute she is with her little pigtails and that bow. Age nine, intended to go places and do things like anybody else. So when she heard grown-ups talk about wiping out Birmingham's segregation laws, she spoke up. Audrey Faye Hendricks was confident, bold, and brave as can be. And here is the remarkable and inspiring true story of one child's role in the civil rights movement. We love this book. A lot of times history is a really hard thing to touch on um, with your kids. And I think that's one of my absolute favorite. I think everything about homeschooling is one of my absolute favorites, but it is one of my absolute favorite things about homeschooling is that you get the opportunity to introduce difficult subjects and topics in history to your kids in a loving way a loving truthful kind way on your own terms without them being plunged into it by a social interaction or some other thing while they're off at school so it's one of my favorite things that I get to do with my kids and finding books like these are really helpful in helping the kids to see the bravery and the beauty in those difficult times in history. So yeah, love this book. Now guys, I am on to my all time favorite children's book <laughs> that is illustrated by Vanessa. This book embodies everything that we are in our homeschool. Um, everything that I had in my mind and the fact that it was illustrated by her is just an extra bonus. I absolutely love this book and it is called The Plans I Have 
for you. It is written by Amy Parker, and of course, it is illustrated by my Vanessa. Plans I have for you will inspire readers of all ages to dream about their future and to trust that God has great plans for each and every one of us. I told you, you guys. You know that's what I'm all about. <laughs> so, plans I have for you. These illustrations blow me away. They just blow me away. I love the textures, I love the colors, I love the patterns, I love the bold colors and the muted colors, and I just love the illustrations in this book. The whimsy, it makes me happy, and I think it's something that should be shared with all children, for real. Hey you, I've got big plans for you. Yes you, and you, and you over there too. I need you in a hospital and you at the zoo. You'll be an entomologist in a forest in Peru. You are my hands and my feet there on earth. I've given you a purpose. It's been there since birth. Oh, it's no little purpose. I don't do things small. Yours is the most humongous purpose of all. Yes, this job is for you and only you can do it. I'm counting on you, so come on, get to it. You'll find what you need right there in your skin. I thought it all through when I put that stuff in. To you, I gave big hands. To you, two big feet. You'll be my big helper you'll walk down big streets. I've left you instructions right here in my book, so open it often and take a good look. Remember that I, who made the whole world, made you, and there's nothing that with my help you can't do. So open your heart and listen real close. You'll find that one thing that you love the most. Then, when you do, you just better watch out because I'll send you big jobs to be inspired about. The whole world will be better thanks to little old you, all because you did what I created you to do. What? You're still reading? There's so much to do. Now go out and find my big plans for you. You guys! <laughs> If you know of me at all, then you know exactly why I absolutely love this book. It's my all-time favorite children's book, and I think everyone needs to have it. I'm actually working on a special project with my Vanessa, and this book is very much so down that same line that I hopefully I'll be able to share my whole process here on our channel, um, on our homeschooling journey. But anyway, this is my favorite children's book ever because I totally feel this in my heart. Um, God has been showing me this um, about myself and about my children. We were created uniquely. There's no one else like us and we have a purpose and we need to be doing that. We need to be fulfilling that purpose. I love this book and you need to get it. And actually, I have a giveaway. The giveaway that I had mentioned should be coming up soon that I never got around to doing well timing is everything and I think that it was good that I waited a little bit because I have a lot of goodies in our giveaway for you guys for someone who wins this giveaway I'm so excited um and this book will be in that giveaway so yeah it's my favorite along with that we also got the plans I have for you the journal so this is for Cameron and I think I'll definitely be getting one for each of the other kids as they get a little bit older but it's so super cute um, it is a journal and he she gives you little prompts for them to write through I think this is fantastic I think it also came with a devotional that I don't have that I'll probably go ahead and order I just wanted to share that with you guys and share little snippets of our artist study on our Miss Vanessa we love her so much and we're so excited to do more artist studies that are like these um, I thought Cameron's drawings of Vanessa's all the kids drawings um, 
Uh, Vanessa's was really awesome and I'm excited to sit and talk to him about some of the things that he noticed that she does in her drawings and I think it's a fun way to incorporate some modern day live artist into our artist studies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you subscribe if you want to see more from us.